Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And while we're rolling along here as we come up uh, close to the top of the hour. But uh, going to talk stay to, in Missouri. Yeah, we're going to stay in Missouri, Ava, Missouri. And we just got through talking to the Sarah Pauley, who's director of Missouri Department of Conservation. Uh, Thank goodness Jeff Sprague is not Missouri. He's in Point, Texas. He's so, Texas. Yeah, so we're going to talk some more fishing. That's why you hear that uh, that voice of Ron Wong sleeping in as he does he's, uh, <laughs> on this Saturday morning. He should be. Good morning, everybody. And he's excited about the next guest, as we are too, Absolutely. because this young man has uh, uh, done some things that a lot of a lot of kids out there are dreaming about, and they're probably thinking, "I want to be Cody Huff someday." And he might have thought he wanted to be Cody Huff someday because he is Cody Huff. Good morning, Cody. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. Thank you for having me on. Glad to have you on today, buddy. And uh, uh, life is fast for Cody Huff out of Ava, Missouri. I know the not only being a student at Bethel, but uh, also in the, the Toyota Series Tournament. Uh, recently won at Table Rock. I'm familiar with Table Rock. Ryan, I know you're familiar with Table Rock. Yes, I am. And to thank the Cody, let's, let's, we're just happy for you, buddy. Talk about it because uh, uh, to do what you did uh, in Branson recently on uh, at uh, at Table Rock uh, in the Abba Garcia College Fishing Circuit, that's who you are as you compete for Bethel. But at the same time here in the three-day Toyota Series at Table Rock, a uh, three-day total, man, 15 bass weighing 46.4, and uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. It was, uh, it was a super fun tournament. I, I, I got to fish extremely deep all week and kind of yeah. kind of found my own little niche out there and doing something a little bit different than a lot of guys and, and got lucky and ended up finding the right one. There ain't no luck, Cody. Is that yep. right, Ron? I mean, yep. he... Uh, He's a deep water fisherman, man. You ought to fish yep. offshore someplace. I mean, uh... <laughs> Cody, you know, you talk about deep water fishing. You are one of the, uh, and it's it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And bass fishermen are about two years behind the time. <laughs> but you are using live scope now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that, yeah. to talk to us about finding your fish, and being able to catch them. Because not all fish uh, you can find, you can catch. Right. No, it's, uh, that's, that life scope's absolutely changed the entire game of, of deep fishing. I mean, of all fishing, but especially deep fishing. Um, I, I caught my fish this week from 35 all the way to the deepest being 90 feet deep. Golly. And, <laughs> I mean, you can see these schools of fish swimming around eating bait, and Amazing. I mean, it was as it was as precise as you could see. I mean, you could see which direction the fish were swimming, and you could flip your bait out there, and if you let them just right, you could make it land right in front of them, and man, the whole school would just get all fired up and start eating. Just let it hop once or twice. That's all it took. I mean, uh, a lot of times that they would jump on it as soon as it got within sight of them. Oh man, and, and Ron, why was it that there when we were kids, Ron? I mean, well, <laughs> you know, we're sitting there looking at those electronic uh, ga- devices that we thought were really important. Yeah, yeah. we watched orange, yeah. orange <laughs> lights on a yeah. on a rotary. Yeah, look <laughs> what's finer. Oh, Cody, you you were born. We were born too late and everything, but uh, that's just amazing. And the equipment there. And you've taken it now. How old are you now, Cody? 104? What uh, are you now? 23, I, I 23. believe. 23. Did you hear that, Ron? We can't yeah. even turn his numbers backwards and equal us twice. You know what I mean? Well, uh, that's the way it is. <laughs> you know, Cody, you can't do this all by yourself, but your family yeah. really supports you doing they sure what do. yeah. they do, oh, don't you? Because I know your mom I couldn't ask very for well. Better. Yeah. So what did it sink in after this win? What did this win mean to you? I mean, because, uh, I mean, you beat some pretty good guys there, and what's it going to mean to your career? Because you, you got, you're got you looking ahead. You're such a busy kid. I hate to say kid. No, you're such a busy young adult. I will put well, that in there. Well, he's won two of these. <laughs> he's won two of them. Like, Ron, <laughs> yeah. come on now. This is a, a – so talk about – did, 
this tournament and and what's next and what's what's your goals? Uh, you know, see, this one was special to me. You know, just getting to win at home. That, at home, you know, that's yeah, that's great. Everybody yeah. loves to to be able to win on your own home waters. So that was awesome, first of all. But um, I don't know this fishing all the Toyotas this year it ended up qualifying me for the uh, the Major League Fishing Big Five Tour next year. So <laughs> it's definitely looking like that may be a possibility. Um, kind of looking at going and fishing with them, you know, just kind of trying to weigh all my options right now. Well, you're also representing your school, too. I mean, uh... yeah, well, I, I just got finished up at school, so now I don't, I'm on to so other stuff besides college fishing. Kind Are of you really? So, so yep. you, you, you finished up then. We can, uh, yep. we can say four. Now, do you have any championships where you'll be representing Bethel next year from this year? Um, I think I'm going to get to fish the FLW National Championship as long as no, as long as nothing ends up conflicting. I didn't get to fish right. the Bassmaster National Championship this year because it was on the same date as an Open. Yeah. So I'm hoping I get to fish the FLW. Well, you know, it it, it helps. How far now is Ava from? How how far were you to Table Rock? How far is that? Um, it's about an hour. Oh, bless your heart! You had to drive an hour. That's uh, <laughs> I did. That's. That's pretty tough when those things. Poor Ron there, he was trying to keep up with everybody up there, and uh, when he was up in Branson in that area there. But uh, talk about what you were using, because I know Ron's going to ask you that, because I, I know I've got one of those uh, Johnny Marr signature rods I have myself that uh, well, that I got as a gift, and that added to it. And then also, man, you're doing some other stuff in there. Talk about fishing deep like it, because I'm still blown away by that. Because uh, you'd want yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. You won at Toledo Bend, right? Is that right? Did you win? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you, sure did. So you've gone from Toledo Bend to Table Rock. And, Ron, those two lakes, uh, I've been two on. Two different kind of Yeah, fish I've been on both lakes. of those. And, there's, boy, you're talking about different. So. Uh, yeah. Well, it ended up working out awesome. No, I, I actually ended up, you know, I was fishing very, very similar in both tournaments. Um, and I actually, I, I used the same rod and reel, same setup. Uh, kind of the same attack. That's just kind of my go-to deep water uh-huh. attack. Is uh, yeah, you know, I, I use like a six-eight Johnny Moore signature series rod. Yeah, with uh with a platinum reel, and I always use a really fast gear ratio. I use an eight-three to one uh, mm-hmm. gear ratio, so you know you can cover a lot of you can pick up a lot of line fast. Well, um, well you said and that. Go ahead. I was, that medium heavy rod. It, it seems to really make a difference. Um, because I, I ended up catching them on a Rapala ice jig. Yes, yeah. And uh, if you've ever looked at that bait, you know they've got it's got kind of some it's got funky hooks on it. So you have to <laughs> really have the perfect setup. Yeah. To to have a good you know landing ratio. Well, I know you said in there, and Ron, listen, watch it. I'm really glad this tournament wasn't a couple more days because I caught them all off new stuff. I scrapped everything I had around ten or eleven on Saturday and just had to go fishing. Uh, that's what it ended up being on <laughs> on day three and i i ended up uh i i caught him the last day on a little 2.8 inch swim bait uh actually on a half ounce head pretty heavy head mm-hmm. yeah but uh i i found some big smallmouth that were just suspended yeah. they were they pulled out in the middle of the creeks and they were only about 10 or 15 feet down wow. but they were suspended <laughs> over 100 feet of water up there each day and that, uh they were just singles and doubles, and I just kind of I milled around out there in the middle of the creek. Looked like I was lost at sea, <laughs> and uh, picked off a few here and there. Well, I know. But there again, Cody. Yeah. That was because of live scope. You were able to do that. Yes, yeah, so so I could see everyone. Out, it's amazing, amazing. And uh, what about the Toyota City Championship on Lake Cumberland? Cody. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for that tournament. I hope so. It's two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars, you know. I mean I <laughs> that's right. I, I can't even say it, it won't even roll off my mouth. So talk uh, uh, so Yeah, you know, that's gonna be another clear water tournament, you know, and that it could be it could definitely be one deep. So I mean that's uh it's in your that's wheelhouse. I like to hear. It's in your yeah, wheelhouse, I, you said. You know, and uh Yeah. what is your wheelhouse? Three hundred feet deep? I mean I'm just wondering uh how deep we got to go? Uh, I mean, if uh, my Garmin will show him that deep, I'll fish for him. He'll go for <laughs> it. Again, hey, we're talking to Cody Huff of Ava, Missouri. Uh, 
He won the recent Toyota Series tournament on Table Rock, three-day total of 15 bass, weighing almost 50 pounds. And he uh, picked up some pocket change there, but uh, the real money is ahead, Cody. And uh, I know Ron, and I, uh, I appreciate you taking time uh, from your crazy schedule and everything. Uh, I, I know when I talked to you earlier in the week, did, did you buy the truck, Cody? Uh, we're still working on that. Okay, work on that on truck. That. I have a 2000 Silverado. If you if you need one, okay. So uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think you can handle that. Uh, what color is that truck going to be? I'm not sure yet. Tell you the truth, don't not, it's, not it's, haven't haven't decided. It's not going to be purple, is it? So I want to make sure. I don't believe it is. I think I've got all that left behind me. Okay, I, don't think I, I need any more. <laughs> of that. Yeah, oh, I do know that the new truck will be wrapped. It'll be wrapped. Yeah. 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 When, when yes, we talk about that, Cody wraps. Um, you, uh, like I was talking about earlier, you know, you've got your family support unit. Yeah. But you also have your product support unit, people that are your sponsors. Yeah. At your absolutely. age, you're 22 yeah. years old. Who are some of your sponsors? Um, man, I've I've had some awesome stuff. You know, I've I've got to meet some really great people that work with all these companies. And and this year, Bass Pro Shops and Rapala and yeah. Nitro and and all those guys are really, really stepping up big time. And I'm still working on uh, a few other deals that are still coming together. You know, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet. but uh, They're coming. Some, so they're coming with some other great companies. And, uh, You're going to you get know, I just I'm super blessed to get to work with all of them. Well, Cody, we appreciate you being on the Outdoors with Larry Ray this morning. And uh, go get them on Lake Cumberland, okay, buddy? And we'll talk to you down the road again, all right? All righty, guys. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. All right. Let's take a break. And we're going to talk some more fishing, but we're fishing for crappie. Oh, I love to talk about crappie. I love big ones, too. Oh, big crappie. We'll be right back. 